do you all make invoices in your company so how many invoices generally we make in a month 20 invoices 500 invoices the point i'm trying to say is each invoice is a unit that's the point that i'm trying to communicate here a unit is any item that is produced and invoice is produced and liable for measurement because we are going to check the invoice for its correctness measurement or evaluation okay against a set criteria okay what are all important in in an invoice company name the money should be correct gst should be written correctly so whatever that you have written description should be correct billing address bank number should be correct gst so each of that is an opportunity for evaluation okay opportunity for making the errors for example the name and address right contact details they said invoice number item description quantity cost per unit total amount we will restrict to 8 if it is okay with you, because otherwise the calculation will become too cumbersome and i am not giving round numbers because now i am i really wanted to get you the feel of the numbers okay so i am sticking to 8 instead of 10 so this is called each of them there is a mistake possible see this is an invoice you see the red said each and every point in the invoice like eight points that i mentioned here is potential opportunity for making errors okay so the opportunity is nothing but these areas that is the eight areas what i have spoken where the defect could be produced so we are just taking an example to help you understand the example okay so these are the chances in the unit to have a defect okay defect for example we are producing some invoices which are defects in different things okay so defect is nothing but a discrepancy which is not meeting the specification okay total opportunities so total opportunity is total number of chances out of all units to have a defect suppose if if you have 1200 units with eight defects that we saw the the chances that it might go wrong eight defects so there are 9600 opportunities okay so we have 1200 invoices and we are looking at eight possible things that we will check every time in the invoice each invoice will check eight things okay you can say passport also in passport they check few things right so there are totally 9600 opportunities so defect per unit if there are eight defects and 1200 units what is the defect per unit eight defects and defect per unit suppose if there are 10 defects so 1200 divided by 10 divided by 1200 so it is 8 divided by 1200 if it is 10 defects it is 10 divided by 1200 whichever that you take okay i'll give you one more example so we said defect per unit is total number of defects found in a sample by total sample size 26 defects found on 10 units of product the defect per unit is 26 divided by 10 26 units divided by okay just one small manufacturing example okay so defect per unit is clear now defect per opportunity in our example suppose there are 10 defects we saw earlier 9600 opportunities we saw 10 defects so 10 divided by 9600 defect by total number of opportunity so defect per million opportunities is nothing but whatever that you got you multiply by now if you see here earlier defect per opportunity we got only 0.001 it might look that we are doing very well it might look oh it's nothing 0.0010 almost like nothing right but if you multiply by 1 million you will get 1041 and now dpmo is 1041 so this is what dpmo helps in exaggerating because in our company which is producing millions of products we don't want to talk in terms of percentage right 0.001 percentage now that is the difference between parts per million and dpmo 
parts per million is based on the number of defective products whereas dpmo is based on the opportunities i explain the difference between defects and defective suppose let us take the same invoice example there are 1200 invoices and every invoice say for example now i'll for calculation i'll take easy numbers 10 opportunities in an invoice okay now this 10 defects let us take 1000 invoice i'll make the calculation simple now okay 1000 invoices and one invoice has 10 things that needs to be verified so what is the total number of opportunities yeah 10000 opportunities right suppose one invoice has got all the errors like everything name address everything is an error which means all 10 defects are there 10 defects are there okay my question is how many defective invoices are there there is only one defective invoice okay there is only one defective invoice how many defects are there 10 defects this is the difference between defects and defective point number 1 if you are calculating ppm first percentage of defective we calculate divided by 1 divided by 1000 you know that is the percentage we are talking whereas if you talk dpmo is it will it is based on number of defects per million opportunities okay one more example just for us to brush our uh, skills in a sample of 100 with each of the units having five areas inspected suppose you are producing a component let us say that component is an automobile part okay crankshaft or whatever you are inspecting five areas okay i will ask these questions one by one what is the dpmo okay we'll we'll go by this how many opportunities are there i'll make you get this answer slowly how many opportunities are there in this five opportunities okay now that you have 10 units what is the total number of opportunities 500 okay now since there are two defects what is the defect per opportunity 2 divided by 500 and what is defect per million opportunity 2 divided by 500 into 1 million 2 divided by 500 into now this is the thing okay this 4000 if you see in a table sigma table if you refer to the sigma table there is a sigma value for this 